Good morning, folks. Riot starting again in Seattle. Maybe because the mini Chaz Chop was taken down. I'm not finding out a reason why, but these are more violent and more destructive than the Black Lives Matter protests. Protests are also continuing in Portland. This is a post I think we should start off with. The narrative has changed. We need to acknowledge that. It's fair to say that many of us in Portland have renewed interest in protests now that they're, they've been turned into ground zero of Trump's fascist right stag rollout. I think it's also fair to say that the protest now is officially not about Black Lives Matter anymore. It's now also about opposing the illegal kidnapping and detention of Americans. I see a lot of people trying to be critical about the protests, riots, whatever, but the turning point for me was the arrival of the federal goons and the manner in which they are terrorizing the people who have a legit constitutional right to say what they think. I hope many of us decide that enough is enough and push back on the streets, push back by voting out our disgusting leaders and pushing uh, back at the polls in November. This is really curious. This is really interesting. Now, Portland, I've been told, is the center of anti-fascist um, idealism, anti-fascist rhetoric. But if you go to r slash Portland, it's really interesting. It's almost like a different world. They think they are severely under the gun. They think they think that uh, they are they are uh, the heroes up against. Uh, a, a notch a Nazi regime they think they can do no wrong and it's interesting that they consider a riot to be a protest but let's just get into what's going on so here in Portland I'm sure you remember seeing the guy who doesn't afraid of anything anyways it turns out that he's disabled he's a disabled army vet or sorry navy vet he was in the navy and he wanted to come down here and he wanted to talk to the police I it doesn't look like he's trying to talk to them about anything really I don't know why anyone would come down to talk to the police during a riot at night especially when you're disabled this gentleman doesn't look disabled at all and it just kind of blows my mind that he would uh, try to get away with saying that. Anyways, let's come on down here. Christopher David, 53-year-old, disabled Navy. He did not look disabled in that video, I gotta say. Uh, was so angry at the sight of federal officers sweeping up protesters in the last few nights in the streets of Portland, Oregon, that he decided to talk to them about it. Maybe come during the day next time, buddy. Uh, the city residents who served more than eight years with the U.S. Navy got on a public bus on Saturday and headed to a protest in the front of the city courthouse where... Now, but by the time he left, were the city bus is still going? Why is he doing this stuff at night? So, we got stuff going on in Portland. The riots were definitely continuing, but most of the focus is actually on Seattle, the Chaz Chop area, uh, the East Precinct, which didn't really sustain much damage at all during the whole Chaz Chop thing. If this is the precinct, I'm thinking that it is. And uh, all of a sudden, last night with the riots, it, uh, it started getting busted down. The interesting thing about this time is the protesters did not decide to film the entire thing because normally they film the whole damn thing. Uh, I guess they've been getting in a bit of trouble for that. <laughs> but yeah, police are cleaning up the streets. ATF agents spotted inside the East Precinct, according to SPD, as an uh, incendiary device was ignited last night in the East Precinct, according to SPD. 12 officers injured earlier in that day, West Precinct, two protesters arrested. And that's the most about what happened. Lots more stuff getting broken around the Seattle area. Oh yeah, over here we have a video of an arsonist. He was burning down one of the places that were looted. Um, I wonder if they knew that this place was uh, a place where people live. People that live in there. People live in there. Omari, that's my boy Omari. Fuck, man. Omari from uh, Converge Media. He knows what's going on. There's people. I almost wonder if this place would have burned down if Omari didn't say something. Is there any water in there? Fuck, that's not gonna work. Hold on. 
Hey. Fuck, man. Hey. Hey. Hey, get that out. There's people in this fucking building, man. Yeah, there's a closet right there. There we go. Thank you. Boxes are gonna go on fire. It's almost out. Yeah. Here. Take care of all of our people, including the one. Yeah. Hey, is oh you got a fire singer, sir? Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so this is definitely and clearly an escalation. Any reasonable person that's seen something like this, that uh, uh, the windows in the fire, or the windows in the police department are busted out. There are lots of places that have their windows busted out. I thought we were past this stuff. Like, really? I really thought we were past this stuff. It's kind of sad to see this stuff happening. Um, more Seattle. Amazon Ghost Store, they're taking it down. Not quite sure why why they're targeting this. Let's watch that one more time. And this time, let's see him just count all the black people. Yeah, okay, so I'm not really counting any black people here. So this Black Lives Matter and the George Floyd thing during COVID-19 seems to be a flashpoint. Everyone is really ticked in America for multiple reasons. The health care. I think anybody who has had to pay for health care can, uh, can, can agree with me that health care is just freaking stupid. The price is stupid, unreasonable. Um, what else is going down? The COVID-19 has got everyone upset. We're definitely at a time, and unfortunately, we're definitely at a time where uh, gender politics is is a very good thing. It's not just good enough that, uh, that uh, the LGBTQ is accepted these days, which is awesome, and it absolutely should be. It's nobody's business who anybody decides to spend their life with or anything like that. But it does seem to be a big thing for people still. Racism is definitely still... Uh, a big thing in the states they got uh, a lot of things going on but one thing particularly getting people ticked off is rich are getting rich and the poor are getting poor and it seems like the rich aren't exactly getting richer because they're doing better at what they have have you ever heard of uh, stock buybacks there's situations where companies will buy back stocks from the stock market in order to uh, to increase demand by reducing supply bringing the stocks up making it look like they did something but in fact they didn't so there's there's a lot of evil things going on within corporations and i hate even saying that because that sounds like that sounds like such a such a millennial thing to say but i think anybody at any part of uh, of the government or or you know whatever class you are can admit that there's a lot of shady shit going on when it comes to businesses the middle class is evaporating and the upper class is using the middle class to be angry at the lower class uh, and that's just how it goes there are definitely a lot of problems and on top of that we got uh, idiots with a uh, certain mentality we got issues going on and that's just how it goes folks but this isn't how we deal with things this isn't how we win friends and influence people. <sighs> but that's how she goes, folks. I I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm not excusing it. I'm definitely not excusing it. It's kind of it's kind of funny. And it's debauchery. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it. And as always, folks, take care of each other.